Just as in life, with mountain biking, you will encounter some of your ups. And of course, some of your downs. And everything in between. and including those moments of frustration. No matter how dark things can get, you must rise again. So this past Sunday, me and my friend Kenny headed up north to go check out the latest and greatest trails here at Cuyuna, Draw Point, Sinister, and Sludgehammer. And also, just to throw some sketchiness into the mix of things, my front brake had failed me, so no front brakes. Perfect. Great timing to have that happen. We are on drop point for the first time this year. A couple of tables. Drop, drop. Let's see if you made it. You good? What? Yeah. You good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I hope, I hope you heard it or saw those. You used for days up here though. Side hits, drop. <laughs> Can't believe I actually made that. Dropping the drop point. <sighs> Oh. oh, this is a rock garden. Yep. Oh my gosh. Nice berm. Nice jump. We're at the main part of the video. Uh, we're checking out another new trail. Uh, we're gonna be checking out Sinister. Uh, Sludgehammer is right next to it. Um, but based on what we saw in Sinister and how we rode the trail, uh, we'd even try to attempt uh, doing Sludgehammer. So that's that's on my bucket list to go see that trail, ride that trail, at least try to ride the trail. Um, but yeah, here we go, here's Sinister. And uh, things went okay, it took a while, um, but we got it down and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good trail. No talking. What's uh? Why are y'all here? So you take back country up. You need to go right or left. 
Blast Sledgehammer Sinister. Okay. Right. right. All right. Give it a go here. Oh, it's kind of a jump. Rock roll jump. All right. Oh, wow. These are huge jumps. <laughs> These are huge. And yes, these jumps were huge. And these, I can 100% say, are the biggest and steepest jumps that I have ever uh, even attempted to ride. Um, so yeah, we were we were in for a quite a fun fun challenge on this trail. Let's uh, continue on. Oh yeah, those are huge jumps. Oh, big drop. Hold up. Holy sht. How's it going? <laughs> you got it. Woo. I mean, I feel like that's as tall as me. Yeah, it probably is. And I'm five six. Yeah. <sighs> probably gonna be a pass and yeah that drop was definitely a pass for me that day never went back never tried to attempt it it's a lot of self-doubt I know I have the skills I've done things like this before um, but just whatever it is is just risk risk benefit analysis and just the way my mind works is you know if something goes wrong is it worth it to do the feature or not to do the feature um, and then at the same time as you're saying no to this when you want to be stepping out of your comfort zone and progressing with your skills um, We would eventually go back up and uh, try to hit the trail a little bit better a little bit faster and hit more things. All right. Well That's on the list to, to do yeah. at some point, right? Okay, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Oh, is there a drop? It's kind of a drop. Oh, what the hell? Oh, all right. Man, that stuff's pretty big. Nice to know they put big stuff like that. It's big. Yeah. And right at that exact moment, I was definitely feeling kind of down. I kind of felt like, is this really something that, uh, that I can ride? Should I even be on this trail? Um, so yeah, I definitely, at that point right there, was not feeling good. I just mentally had to get over and uh, keep on going. I think we kind of know the trail, but still are pretty unsure. But yeah, good point. We'll still ride it a lot better than the first blind run. Ooh, that's a jump. Okay, so I'm gonna go right side. Can take this. Not gonna take that. Go. Oh, shoot. Left side would have been better. Took the hip. Gonna take this side. Oh, we're. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Not bad. And so that first table is pretty big and it's kind of a moon booter. Uh, it's got a really steep lip uh, for right now because it's pretty much brand new. Um, sends you super high into the air. Uh, feels like you're you're riding into a, a vertical wall. And it was definitely one of the steepest uh, jumps that I've ever done. I went back up to the top and I, I tried it again. And here's that result of just trying it again and uh, pushing, pushing my comfort level uh, to the max of, yeah, definitely pushing myself on this trail. Holy sh oh. oh. 
dude. Clear that. Nope, nope. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, huge cases, but you know what? I'd rather try them than not try at all in case. Yeah, this is not happening, not happening. And yeah, no. <laughs> what? We're good. We're good with what? Oh, that gap got me. The gap? I went straight in. Did you stay on the bike? Yeah. Damn, dude. Should I have the GoPro on you? And so this was actually the last run uh, on Sinister for the day, uh, for Sunday. And as you could tell, <laughs> I was talking to Kenny and uh, he told me that he kind of had a little bit of a bail uh, towards the end. Sound like it was a gap. Uh, it was like one of the last gaps that you have to make. I mean, you can roll if you're going slow enough, but if you're going a certain speed, you better take it uh, or you're going to end up uh, what happened to Kenny. Fortunately, uh, he didn't go OTB and he didn't have any injuries. So that's all good. But my last lap down Sinister, I didn't feel great about it. So with that, uh, Thursday, I went back up to Kiyuna and I also had a couple other things. I had to get some uh, B-roll shots uh, for this video specifically. So that was one of the goals. And But the biggest goal was to go on Sinister, ride Sinister, and feel good about it um, leaving, uh, leaving the trail and leaving Kiyuna for the day. But yeah, I'll just play the video and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, this one definitely did feel uh, a lot better than Sunday. All right. Let's give this another shot. If I want to drive a message in this video, um, and that's what I've been trying to do, or kind of just uh, have more of an intimate um, conversation of like things that I go through and things that other people go through as well uh, in the sport specifically, um, or this could really go for any sport. This could be soccer, baseball, um, whatever it may be. You're gonna go through your ups and you're gonna go through your downs. You're gonna get beaten down or you know, you get an injury and it's because of a mistake that you made um, that you maybe don't normally make. When you're beaten down, when you're down already, 
keep going, keep pushing, keep fighting, and uh, eventually what you wanna accomplish, you can absolutely accomplish. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little different, a little more complex of a video, kind of a topic video, uh, different than what I usually do. Um, but really, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys wanna see more content like this and more trails from me, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next trail.